Bom dia, sejam bem-vindos ao terceiro dia do Coimbra 2024 World Boxing Paralympic Qualification Tournament. Recebam calorosamente os jogadores para os próximos jogos. Good morning, welcome to the third day of Coimbra 2024 World Boxing Paralympic Qualification Tournament. Please welcome the teams for the next matches. In court number one for round five for BC one and two team, the match between Argentina and Canada. The official Sara Henriquez and the liner Marta Freire. Representing Canada, Danny Callard, Christine Collins and Lance Kreiderman. Representing Argentina, Island Del Pilar, Luis Cristaldo and Jonathan Hakino. In court number two for round five, BC one and two team, the match between Malaysia and Slovakia. The official Anadort Anderson and the liner Maria Sa. Representing Slovakia, Thomas Kraul, Eliska Jankekova, Rastilav Kurilak. Representing Malaysia, Angelina Lavas, Shi Ongli and Mohamed Siafik. No. In court number three for round five, BC one and two team, the match between Indonesia and China Hong Kong. The official, David Henriques and the liner, Diana Lorenzo. Representing Indonesia, Andayani Andayani, Felix Yuda and Mohamed Siafik. Representing China, Hong Kong, John Long, Yun Lam Yung, and Hoi Karen Kwok. In court number four for round five, BC one and two team, the match between Mexico and China. The official, Cassander Turk, and the liner, Helene Pereira. Representing Mexico, Dubia Paredes, Eduardo Sanchez, Karina Martinez. Representing China, Kizang, Ziyan Lang, Zikian Yan. Start warm up.
start matches. So good morning to all watching this live from this Quimbra 2024 World Boccia Paralympic Qualification Tournament. We are seeing as usual court number one, the match between Canada and Argentina. This match is for the BC 1 and 2 team round five. With me, Professor Joaquim Viegas and André Tavares will make the comments in this match. Good morning, Professor. Good morning, André. Good morning, Nuno. Yep. Good morning, Nuno. Good morning, everyone. Welcome here to Coimbra to watch this last round of games of pairs, uh, teams BC1, BC2. And we hope here to watch a great game between these two American uh, teams. And this will be a, a game that can decide a lot of things. Argentina knows that if we won the game, we'll pass to the semifinals. In the other side, Canada have to win and wait for the results of other games. So everything can happen um, until the end of the match. Um, so I believe that Argentina have uh, in the best position here to to get the winning. But looking here for the names of the players of both teams, we predict that we, we can have a very tight game. So from Argentina. Island del Pilar, BC1, playing in box number four, right in the middle of the of the court. Luis Crist Cristaldo, BC2 player in box two, and uh, Jonathan Anquino, BC2 in box six. And in the other side, Canada with Lance Craderman, BC1 player in box five, Christian Collins, BC2 in box one, and Danik Allard in box three. Uh, looking for the the courts, we can count the boxes from the right to the left, one to six. So starting this uh, end, first end, Canada, Christine Collins placing the jack around four meters in front of her. Uh, giving after that some uh, chances to Argentina to place balls in the free jack ball and uh, in second ball. Luis Cristaldo placing the ball right near of, of the jack and now it's time to Canada to try to change Danik Allard now I put one good ball there however with a chance to Argentina to to enter in the game again so Joaquin was a Good start for now, some good balls there, but um, no balls in front of, of, the, of the opponent. Yeah, of course, uh, you can see that everything is possible. Uh, although there are one ball of each color uh, closer to the jack, but they, they can be removed easily as well as the jack can be pushed. So everything can happen this is like a, like a, an example of what of what is happening with this pool uh, everything can happen canada is at, at in, in the last place in fifth place in the pool but if this is a good result if they can, if they win for a, a good margin they can be qualified once all the other four uh, 
all the other four, Slovakia has also one win and two defeat, and the other three, Croatia, Malaysia, and Argentina, two wins, uh, one defeat. So um, everything is possible in the pool. Everything is possible in this end. We welcome all of you that are watching us from all around the world. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all. And make your comments here in the sh live chat during the transmission. In the other courts, we are having the, the games of uh, the last games of the group phase of teams BC1, BC2. In court number two, Slovakia against Malaysia. In court number three, Hong Kong against Indonesia. And in court number four, Mexico against China. Anyway, uh, the analysis that uh, we have done to the uh, uh, possibilities of qualification, uh, very good ball. This is uh, a ball that uh, can make some difference uh, at the end of this end. And for now, the, the jack is uh, covered and has a second blue ball. Uh, on, on the left side, so a little bit better now. And Canada has to uh, make a very good shot to change this situation. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the analysis was uh, very cool, just looking to the numbers. Uh, but if we look to the point scored, points difference, uh, in case of tie, um, there are differences, and uh, we can talk about that a little bit later. Let's look at this shot. It's it's a very important shot. It was a good shot. Uh, but I don't think, yeah, uh, they didn't, they just moved uh, a, a blue ball. The jack was uh, ahead, going ahead, but uh, still close to the second blue ball that was closer to the ball, to the jack. And the issue now, is the angle of throwing. It's not very favorable, but still accessible. That blue ball that is more closer to the player uh, is stopping, is covering a part of the jack, so it must be a very good shot. Last ball for Canada. Very difficult to to change this situation. You can give a second point to do if you touch that blue ball. You can give a second point to Argentina. No. 
So two balls to throw for Argentina. Uh, are they going to try to score more points? The situation is is uh, is good for that. Only one red ball uh, can can that ball on the right side of the jack. Uh, can disturb their intentions, but uh, 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 I think yes. But the position of uh, Jonathan Aquino it, maybe can yeah. be better in the first in the first uh, try using that red ball. Try to open a little that gap, and after that, um, uh, Luis yeah. Crisalto can can play the second ball. It is a good position to to push that uh, red ball and and score one more point in the middle of the blue and the red. And depending on the movement of the red, they can have also three points. All depends on how much that red will move. Yes, that's uh, why that's why I'm saying if, if it is in 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 the middle of the, of the blue and the red. It pushed the red out of the jack, uh, and and they still have another ball. So let's see. In this case, uh, it cannot uh, touch the the, the jack. It just push the the red. Well, he only tries to make here the second point, pushing that blue ball to the to the score. Yes, uh, and Chris out to have one ball left. We didn't know if there were one or two, but now we, it's for sure. Two points. Hmm. He was afraid of uh, uh, touching <laughs> the red ball. No, so yeah, it is far away from the from the jack. So two for Argentina. It's a good start from Argentina. Uh, don't forget this Canada in uh, a pair of Pan Americans in Santiago last year um, achieved the final of the competition against Brazil, but in the group phase. Uh, we remember that they made a great result against Brazil, showing that uh, if they play well, they are uh, high-level um, capacities to to make points. They so Argentina have to take a lot of careful uh, and know that every point that can make during the the ends can be useful for for them. So Argentina here starting in the lead of the match. Uh, they are. Pro it's possible to, three. to yeah to score three. That uh, seems to be uh, very similar. Three for blue. We are here talking two, 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 but at yeah. the end was three. Yeah, very good, very good shot. Uh, well asked here from the Argentina. Well done for the players. And even better if you start with uh, three points in the in the first end, and it was in the end. It started by Canada, so that is good when you when you are able to make points in the opponent side. Let's see now what's the option of Argentina. But 
this plate around four meters was good for them. We'll see if they will maintain, will use that zone or will change or will move for other one. of teams BC1, BC2, the ball, the jack ball goes passing through the different boxes, passing uh, from the one to two until the, the six, during the six ends. And now it's time to Luis Cristaldo, Cristaldo to start the second end. Even if this ball is a little far from the jack, he's blocking some lines. Um, but uh, Christian Collins probably have a, a good line to achieve the jack. Lance Kraderman also. Yeah. And Danik, it's m with more limitations about the, the line, so I presume that or Lance or Christian we will play. Just to, to give you the <coughs> just to give To make here an update to the other games in court number two, Slovakia winning 1 0 against Malaysia, uh, Indonesia winning 4 0 against Hong Kong, and in court number four, Mexico starting the lead by one against uh, China. And the first ball was uh, failed here by Canada. Too long. It's it's bad. Uh, it's a, a, a ball that will not be used. Uh, it's 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 always something that uh, we need to uh, uh, address um, our attention uh, because when we have six balls and if we play uh, one or two uh, uh, out of the context of the uh, jack. That ball uh, is like, like a ball that is, it was not played. Uh, the meaning will be the same, and that is an, uh, an advantage for, for the opponent. So, it's something that uh, uh, we we need to uh, work a lot, and they work a lot on that. But not always uh, they can, uh, they do the enough. Uh, to, to save that situation. So the second ball, about the same distance as the first one, uh, 80 centimeters maybe, is very far from the jack, uh, and, and does not is not blocking uh, the lines of the uh, of the Argentinians. Maybe maybe one, yeah, maybe one a little bit. Let's hope they can do better. Yes, yes. Now, now he uh, he did well. Yeah, interesting is here that the the player that probably have the the worst line to get the jack was the player that achieved achieved that. That um, we we don't we cannot forget that this Danny Callard is um, during the last years improving a lot of the results. Uh, in the last um, individual competition, he plays against Luis Cristal and won the game uh, against him, so showing a uh, great level. And um, uh, he, he received, he achieved the silver medal, individual medal in BC2 males in 
uh, Pan Americans last year, and here showing uh, a good ball. However, the position of this ball can can be is it's not strong position. However, is there and uh, mm. uh, and now better and now mm. even better. This touch of Luis Cristaldo yeah. uh, put that uh, yeah, red yeah. ball in bad conditions conditions to Argentina. Uh, so. Sometimes it's better if you can put one ball there, even if the ball is not perfect, at least it's there and the others have to do can the be job. Pushed, uh, c uh. Yeah. And one thing is when, when we think about and we try to, to say and to, to look for the game like should be and the ball, where, where is the best ball, however, when we are playing it's good to put the balls around the, the jack and see what's what will happen in next balls. And also uh, uh, depends of the uh, current score. Argentina is winning by three, so uh, they, they don't, risk, don't need to risk so much as, as Canada. So they, they and, and again, uh, lost ball. So they should uh, play much more in a defensive way, rather uh, when you are losing, because you need to go behind you after the result and in this case they should look for the mistake of the opponent and with a defensive uh, strategy it's easier to, to achieve that so little touches made by Argentina in the game positions one in the jack the other in the red ball putting now Canada in good condition in this in this end, that ball, that red ball behind is in strong position. And we'll see if uh, Argentina will try to open the situation. But uh, with three balls played, seems that it can be better to try to defend this situation. see if he will be a little more aggressive only, only place for position but the ball rolls a little more much more than what much he more. wants for sure yeah, much more not not a good end for Argentina wasting too much balls uh, not only the dire direction, but the, the, the strength. Once Luis Cristaldo pushes that red ball uh, next to the jack, it, was, uh, it made the, the, the match too difficult for Argentina because that ball, that red ball is uh, saving jack from, from taking any other uh, place, any other move in the, in the, in the court. Uh, only for Luis. Luis Castaldo is the only one that can push the, the, jack. the jack or, or the push the red and, and, yeah. and keep the, the blue in the place where the, the red is now. But that is very difficult and should be done before, before so many blue balls are being thrown. That that was better. That was better. And now Eileen. <coughs> it can save uh, trying to make a barrier to block to balls from Canada and saving some suffering some more points. But not not perfect. That could be good now, Argentina, to defend that position. That space between both. Both blue. Uh, looking Christine Collins. Have that red ball in front of her. Will be difficult to enter from this uh, right side to score points. Uh, but the space between that two, two blue balls can be used by Canada. So Eileen will try to move a little more the blue to, to the jack and try to place the ball between the two blues trying to prevent here uh, much 
uh, more points from Canada. Yeah. Well done. That's a perfect ball. That is the place that she wants to, to have to defend the situation. And probably Canada don't try to do here nothing more than what it is at this moment. Hand number two finished in court number four. Another additional point to Mexico, making the lead by two. Mexico two, China zero. And the last ball of Eileen, right defending well. And she do what the Canada could do if uh, that ball wasn't there. Probably Danny Callard will try to make a ricochet using the blue ball in the left side if he wants to take the risk. But um, probably will will be uh, high risk. He will, but he, he will try to do here something. Uh, he was trying to score uh, on the left side of the, of the of those two blue balls, uh, very close. Uh, he, he could score one more point. But it was short. And they are assessing the risk, probably talking to each other to understand if there are some risk or not. And sometimes the players, when they have uh, so many balls in the hand, they don't want to give the balls free. But now they prefer, they understand that can take some risk here. And uh, the choice of the previous shot was uh, trying to, to do something if it's possible. Okay, but don't take any risk. The position of that ball will be difficult to make the second point. But one, one for Canada. Coming back here to the game at this moment, 3-1 to Argentina. Yeah, Canada didn't feel confident enough to, to risk and try to score one or two more points. Uh, fortunately for Argentina, the last two balls uh, were very good to defend, to protect the jack, and that uh, saved them to suffer um, more points, the Canada to score more points. So three for Argentina, one for Canada after the second hand. After the second hand two in court number three, uh, China, Hong Kong reduced the disadvantage for Indonesia. Indonesia won the first hand by four and Hong Kong won the second hand by two. So four to Indonesia, two to Hong Kong still running hand number two in court two. Sooner it get, uh, and we have the finish. So after hand two in court number two, a draw, a tie at one between Slovakia and Malaysia. Slovakia won the first hand and the second hand was won by Malaysia.
So now we have a seven meters short for Canada. Yeah, okay. Canada here moving the jack a little far from the court, trying to get here some uh, advantage in this uh, new position of the jack. And we will see what, what that will happen. That was, that was a good, that was a good one. That was, it is uh, disturbing uh, at least two, two athletes from Argentina. Should be Luis Cristaldo throwing pool because it's the one that has more, uh, the jack is more visible. There he goes. Very good. Very good, Luis. Yeah. And here the Argentina trying only to change the turn of play. Um, that red ball is blocking almost the other two Argentinian, Argentinian players. But Luis Cristal here, op the option was to, uh, to place that ball. However, that position now can give Christine Collins a good chance to, to put the ball using the blue or maybe or using the red that the, she have that two chances and uh, if she puts the ball can create a lot of pressure in Argentina it will not be easy for her as BC1 but uh, she can do it oh, oh sorry she's BC2 yeah And she's ahead, and she's in front. So Canada leading this this end. Red balls are in good good position to be pushed to the jack and but Luis uh, prefers to yeah. wow oh, what a shot Red Red ball. Ball. What a shot fantastic wow two great balls for Luis Cristaldo and e even better because the the red ball um, well with the removal of that red wall, the the teammates are now with better lines to, to enter. And uh, and because of that, I thought in the first shot that Luis Cristaldo had, he can try to do the, this, this this ball. It can be better. But thinking is one thing and doing is another thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> Of course. So, and, uh, I, we always say that here in the in the in the chair, <laughs> looking for the games, everything is very easy. And even even from here, the decisions are difficult to take. So, um, well done here by Cristaldo, uh, putting um, that ball very well. Uh, one zero at least. I don't know the distance. Should be one. Yeah. yeah. But a little touch in that blue can give two points to, to the Blues. Sure. Uh, Christian Collins now with a chance to try to give a little touch in the red ball, trying to see if and the ball yeah. seems to come well well, well, done. Done. well done. Well done. Well done. Fantastic. Wow. And it looked like uh, Canada is uh, leading. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's not so difficult to uh, alternate uh, 
the the the, lead, the leading of this end for Argentina once if they push the, the blue they will do it and we can see now the the importance of the little touch in the red ball um, otherwise Argentina will be very blocked to do this this um, this next next shot so now as you said before uh, if the ball touching the blue can um, make uh, the chance of the, the player of the turning player so they are in good positions to change again yeah yeah all the, all the the two player the two players that have balls they have two balls each can do it and it's completely open to, to do it uh, all, all remaining balls are that side for Argentina and Canada, so yeah. it will be interesting to to watch. It looks to that was that I don't know if he wanted to do this. Maybe not. Maybe yes. <laughs> Because it's more logic if they push the blue with this kind of speed, uh, he probably will be scoring too. So I guess the, he, he, he'll try to. The first to, intention. Yeah. But this was a safe shot. Because if he failed, like supposing he, he failed, it was also a good shot. So it, it was. Uh, Argentina are in a great position to, to win this, this end due to the position of the balls. However, uh, we never know uh, and if uh, uh, not, not him, not him, but the other player can push the ball on the left to the jack. Not this one. Can number three finish then court number four? So, um, the first point to China, uh, one to China, two to Mexico after hand number three. Okay, we are having some problems to give the scoreboard as we are asking for it in our chat. So I'm telling you, uh, in court number one, Canada is losing against Argentina, three to Argentina, one to Canada. We are in the end number two. Court two also on hand two, a tie at one between Slovakia and Malaysia. Court number three, uh, we are in end number two. Indonesia is winning four against two for Hong Kong. And in court number four, as I said before, uh, end of finish, and uh, finish the hand three, uh, China one, Mexico two. Not, not very far away from the red, trying to push it uh, from the side, the, the outside to inside in the direction of the jack. It would be a super shot. It was very, very close. Not this one. Not this one. So, Argentina still has uh, three balls. They are scoring one point, leading the match by three to one. Are they going to try to score more? Uh, that's the question. Taking the risk. Um. Personally, I think they have here a good opportunity to to win some more distance uh, from Canada, it's of course there there are some risk, but also a good chance to score two or three points. 
if they push that blue with the jack ahead, uh, they probably they do they score two points and probably a third point is possible. Yeah, the problem is I think the the power of Argentina in in speed shots will be will come from Jonathan Ankinu. And if we try to smash and the ball comes to the left side of the of our view, can remove a little or remove a little the, the blue to, to the side and not to the in front. You can also so take out the, 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 red, the red on yeah. the left. Yeah. Pro, pro, I think that is more safe if uh, Eileen uh, try to to place a ball between the red and the blue and after that Jonathan try to push that ball and try to score the second point or try to, to, to push a little more the jack. And Eileen is the BC one so probably able only to place these balls and not to move so much the balls. Um, that red ball we saw in the beginning that moves a little easy from the position so I think that is more safe that that uh, that play. We will see if what are the intention of Aline. Yeah, the ball comes very well. Yeah, yeah. very good. Very good. Very good for Aline. And now Jonathan in better position now can can try to to go be to, to go in the, that ball pushing on the jack <laughs> but they they don't want to take the risk I, 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 I can agree because Jonathan if the missed the balls to the left can touch in the in the red and change the situation and so sometimes it's better to keep one ball in the hand. So they continue in the lead. What yeah, wh when you don't feel enough confident to and assure that you can do what what you are asked for. Now, if, if you are not sure, it's better in in this situation. You don't need to to take that risk. So it's 4-1 uh, to Argentina. We are here in the middle of the match. It's a good advantage to Argentina, but uh, nothing is finished until this moment. Everything very tired. In this competition, these last matches uh, of the group phase usually are between the high-ranked, uh, high-ranked, or more equivalent-ranked uh, uh, teams. So, in all courts, everything very, very uh, tied. In this great competition here in Coimbra, Bossia Paralympic Qualification Tournament. Don't forget that. Here the th the three first teams will achieve the slot to Paris 2024. So this afternoon we will have the semi-finals, but uh, Joaquin, the semi-finals will be the first finals of the competition, isn't it? Like a finals. Yeah, uh, like a finals. Let's say that uh, the semi-finals qualify to uh, uh, two out of three uh, that can be qualified for the Paralympics. Those who go to the finals will be automatically qualified. And the third one will be uh, through the winner of the runner-up uh, of the semi-finals. So, very interesting situation. Uh, completely different from what we are used to. But... Uh, yeah, here be the first of the competition. It's not so important like yeah. uh, like usual. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. So the first step will be try to win the semi-final, and if you lost, you have the second chance in yeah. the third. 
play this game. Updating the results for the four matches after hand three. Here on court one, so Argentina is winning four against one to Canada. Court number two, Italia at two, two to Slovakia, two to Malaysia. In court number three, four to Indonesia, three to Hong Kong. And in court number four, one to China, two to Mexico. And there we go, here on the fourth and on the match of Canada against Argentina. Uh, first ball of Argentina was uh, very good. And now Canada try to open those two balls. Uh, but now it's even worse than it was before. He touched the jack and now it's more hidden behind the blue ball. So the task is even more difficult, the task of opening that situation. They discuss what, uh, what are the options and the best one. And a missed ball. And two balls out of the uh, zone that it, it is important, the zone of the jack. Yeah, sometimes when the jack is a little open, and this happens a lot of times, you touch in the, in the jack and put, put the ball even worse, and that is the case. Let's see now if uh, Lance Kreiderman can touch a, a little more in the in the game. Now can be good touch in the in the jack to open to the open to the teammates. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to Canada to change this situation. And, and now with the three balls left from Canada, that is not so bad. If now one of the two players on the right pushed the jack to that to that red uh, but anyway the jack will be opened anyway a difficult situation here to manage to Canada uh, even more if uh, Christine Collins plays with the right hand so they will try to making some approaches and and after that try to use that walls. Don't seem easy to open this situation by Christine Collins. So in the other side for one. They have to think if we lost this, we have to lost only by one. So create here a good defense. But let's see if she will try to open or not, or only place this ball. Nah, good. Better now. Better now, because uh, well, uh, they understand that they cannot defend this. And this, this is not in, in not the time to defend. Even if they only have now two balls, they take the risk. They they know that if Argentina scores yeah. here, will be difficult. And uh, yeah, so, yeah, and they they have to take more risks, more and more risks. But uh, it's not easy, uh, but it's possible now. perfect shot would be to put his jack on the place where the blue is now. Push the blue and stay there. Ah. She missed the ball. So One ball to go. That's, that is the problem. When, when you take the risk with three balls left, you have to be sure that the other balls we will put there. Yeah. It's it's something that should 
should happen more more times and not not so uh, it's a small defense uh, there was not much he could do yes I, I, and what we are watching from uh, until now with the with the power that Jonathan and Keane have he can easily remove that uh, red ball from there and create a, a great chance to Argentina to score three or four points yeah. in, in the easy yeah, mode. Yeah, for sure. So, But uh, I was saying that uh, we don't see uh, so many times uh, uh, building a situation, a team building a situation with uh, uh, thinking uh, on, on, on the team as, as one. So play to in, in order that the next player or, or the next uh, ball to be played. Uh, I mean, play uh, 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 a situation with two or three balls and not uh, try to do uh, solve one problem with, with one ball at a time. Oh, well done. Well done. And now the chance is here. Yeah, yeah. I understand what we are talking uh, about in that ball that Christine tried to open. Probably if she make one ball uh, close and then then he can use that ball to try to change the situation. Yeah. And if they, at least if they don't change, they will put there some balls that are defending, but thinking in change the situation also. Yeah, now it's it's easy to to score more points for from Argentina and and Canada is uh, is in great 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 danger the four points are there Maybe, Even, maybe, maybe, even maybe, more. maybe more, maybe five, maybe five. It all depends of uh, the referee said four points, but they can ask for a measure in the end. Now it's not important if that ball is scoring or not. And Arlene, last ball with. Well, I think. Well, the ask can be vain, yeah. Pushing be, the jack a little bit or not? Yes, but but I think that question would be in, good in Jonathan and Kino ball. Um, he can make a little more power in the ball and move a little the jack. Now yeah. with Eileen, can be more difficult to her to to make that. Yeah. We'll see if she will try to do that. Interesting here. Yeah. But, uh, we see one player that plays for overhand and underhand. You need to measure, so at least five points. Uh, A big eight. number here in the score. So I think with the minimum of nine to Argentina and one Canada, eight, eight and nine points difference with two ends to go, uh, it's too much to recover. Especially if we look how the quality of, uh, of each one of the teams uh, so far. Uh, six. Six zero here to Argentina. Perfect end here for Argentina. <coughs> Making six points. Passing the score to 10 1. And Canada here in, with uh, a lot of troubles. So Argentina taking the lead. And and Argentina only is depending by themselves to, to pass through the semi-finals. And now in great position to win this game and get a slot to the to the, that playoffs. Yep. Passing now for the other courts, Slovakia and Malaysia. They are tied 2-2 at 
this moment. And Malaysia are scoring points, uh, more than one, I guess. So they will take the lead after this end. All the balls from Slovakia are played. And they still have uh, one or two, I, I don't know. So Malaysia have a chance of scoring a few points and take uh, an important advantage after this fourth end. In the court number three, Indonesia taking the lead against uh, Hong Kong. And Indonesia also in great position to pass to the semi-finals. And uh, the other game, China 2, Mexico 2. That is really very tight match. And that will be a very, very important match with this one of Indonesia. Indonesia take the first place of the group. And uh, after that, China, Hong Kong with two wins. If Mexico win this game, we'll enter in the fight. Uh, but we will, we will take the counts for the organization. And we looking now to the court number one. Canada here, Lance Kraderman. He will place in front of him, changing the side of the of the Reds, mm, trying to make this easier for the player instead of playing to for the left side that usually the Red Bulls play. Uh, we are watching during the last years more and more times some of these situations happening and, uh, in front of uh, Lance Kraderman probably easier to place a great ball and that's a good ball that's a good ball at least making some pressure to Argentina to yeah. to use at least one ball to open the situation Jonathan Aquino Aquino will be him for sure to try to open the situation in the red or in the jack and Malaysia scored two points on the fourth end and they are now winning by two four to two so uh, that's still two ends to go everything can happen Yes. So they are. The Argentina now is uh, the stress uh, is is minimum. They uh, they just need to play uh, what they know without uh, great levels of, of stress. Uh, and he, he was able to to. To do what you were supposed to, what you wanted to, to move the jack ahead. And now it will be not difficult to take the lead. And even during the ascent, they can manage the advantage that they have. They only know that. And putting their ball, they know that if they lost by two, they are com comfortable with that. So they obviously will try to win this end but they can try to manage the score situation don't don't take any risk and yeah it's okay yeah it's it's like do you as a coach uh, uh happen with you in your mind if you are in a situation like this two ends to go 12 balls to play you have an advantage of nine so is each each ball that does not count from the opponent so one less so 12 then 11 then uh, and so on and so on so when you have uh, the number of balls that are missing um, less uh, than uh, what they need to to reverse the 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 the, the final score uh, do you think about that many times or just not important, just 
do your do your game and and do your best and uh, do not count the balls that still missing because there are always a possibility of uh, uh, a fault um, a, pen a penalty balls or or whatever I think in this situation we, we, we have to think in that uh, only take take that in your mind uh, and use that in your favor but try to do to do what you usually do if you you know if you score even better um, but imagine if you if it is your turn to Argentina to play it's it's better to place the ball there instead of trying to remove the balls of the opponent and sometimes can be an option yeah. don't don't allow the opponents to to make to make points but i think in in general you will play to win the end or or put there a uh, lot the match balls that you can and um, because if you are thinking in the in the opponent's game you, you are removing the focus on your own game so important to understand it but um, and, and to take decisions but in the end is is good only to understand you will be more defensive or more aggressive and at this moment Argentina don't need to be nothing aggressive only to place some balls there and uh, and that's okay yeah so uh, uh, make your make your make your, your game make your game um, uh, until you are safe in a safe situation and obviously if you have a situation that you know that you you remove that ball don't allow to, to score uh, three points okay you can try to do that but in this situation in so much control yeah I they, think is they, they, they don't need to do much yeah. sometimes it's important when you are a good ball here seems to come hmm. still red to play and I'm saying, imagine that you go to the last end, winning by five points, and you know that the opponent, uh, if makes six, uh, it's a chance to to invert the game. So in that case, probably you can use an, one approach that, okay, you can play more in the line to to put some pressure to the opponent, to put some balls out, and you know with that balls, you cannot make some points or so there kind of things that you can change in your game in order to put pressure to the opponent to don't score the points that they need but missing two ends uh, winning a, with a good lead you make your game and even now if they win by one Canada don't, yeah. d will don't count for the result too. yeah Good. Good. They at least they are they are winning by one. And play your game is also a way to be respectful for your opponent. Uh, even in this situation, Argentina knows that if don't play more balls, one zero to Canada, the game is in is winning. But it's not respectful for the opponent. So you play will get your game. You you will try to make make points and. Uh, and, uh, Otherwise, you go to the last end. You say, "I don't play balls," and six players. <laughs> you no, can do that. that. You can do that. But yeah, <laughs> this is, that is extreme uh, and, and, and and respect and respectful. But uh, that, that, that was not what what I meant when I talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I heard that. <laughs> And you maintain your game, do your game, and score points here. Well done by Argentina. But now without pressure, is easier to play. Yeah, it's easier. They play smooth and everything uh, goes well. Yeah, more and more. Peter Gillis, hello from the Netherlands, asking what sport is this? This is boccia. 
Boccia is played by physical in, handicapped uh, people and um, is a Paralympic sport that plays with balls and the aim of the game is to get uh, closer as possible from the jack and um, in very very general way is is this <laughs> Be two more, two more points, two more points for Argentina. And Twelve one. Now it's completely decided this match. So Argentina but still get, one, get one more, one more end to go. And yes. Argentina get the place in the semi-finals of the competition. And, and Canada is out. So in the other courts, court number two, Malaysia four, two against Slovakia. In court three, ten zero to Indonesia. And with this result, also Indonesia uh, will be placed in the first place of the group, passing through the semi-finals. And in court number four, China scoring now two points in the fifth and four to at this moment. If Malaysia uh, wins this match, they are also qualified together with uh, Argentina and Argentina will be the first uh, of the pool uh, because uh, they won uh, the match between them, uh, Argentina and Malaysia, Argentina won. And uh, if uh, Slovakia uh, wins this match, then we will have uh, Malaysia, Croatia and Slovakia with two wins and we have to go to the uh, tie-break uh, criteria. But looking now for the game of Malaysia, seems that Malaysia will score again. And getting here some... is really really close so we are not in conditions to see what is the score so we'll, we'll, we will wait until the end of this end. But Malaysia are, are playing uh, so Slovakia must be winning, or unless they have played all their balls. Coming back here to the court number one in the venue in Coimbra. First ball of Argentina wasn't so so good, but the pr first the placement of Canada, Dani Callard. Don't able to defend the front side of the jack. And now Argentina again with a with a chance. Probably Eileen will play. Interesting this BC one player. Able to play both different ways. Underarm and upper arm, overarm. Oh, 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 that is the situation that we talk and sometimes you are winning and you make a, a, a penalty Yeah, and there are the things that you don't want to... But she smiles because it doesn't matter. Winning by 11 points difference, it's, it's no problem.
So this is a proof of uh, rela too much relaxing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now Luis Cristaldo will have him that ball to play. Oh, good oh, wow. Yeah. What a great ball here. King uh, Danny Callard and Christine Collins. Probably Lance Kreiderman with a good chance to move the jack to the red ball. Or Christine Collins will try to open the situation. Using the right hand, maybe Lance Kreiderman can have some line to the jack but only alpha ball so can be difficult to him and Christine Collins is trying to get the best line to try to open the situation end of uh, the hand five in court number two and point to Slovakia three to Slovakia Malaysia four And we go uh, on this match of uh, Slovakia Malaysia. We still, still o completely open. The final score: who will be the winner? Only one point difference. Everything can happen. And they are discussing the access to the semi-final, the possibility of qualifying for the Paralympic Games. This is why we are here for and have this excitement up until the end. Yes, the main competition that you can achieve as player or team or pair and uh, all want to be there for sure. This is can be a dream of a life, being present in the Paralympic Games and they are fighting here for a place in that. Good ball for for Canada. Uh, referee is Sarah is measuring to to decide who who is scoring. Anyway, any of them can push the red push the red ball and, and Argentina push the blue ball on the next shot whoever is winning very, very similar yeah Canada ahead Argentina playing Final result in court number four. China won the match. Four to China, three to Mexico. Also final result in court number three. Ten to Indonesia, five to Hong Kong. And with that result we are in conditions to say that Indonesia will stand in first place in the group and China in the second. So. Both teams will pass to the semi-finals and uh, Hong Kong, Mexico and Morocco are out of the chances to pass to qualification through Paris 2024. So during this afternoon, and, and we already know that we will have Argentina against China uh, and Indonesia still waiting for the opponent in the game of the afternoon. And that can be Malaysia and we, in that case we will have uh, three uh, Asian, Asian teams in the semi-finals.
It's a good ball for Canada, but still, still not a half. That blue ball uh, it, uh, from Argentina is scoring. Man, with a chance to try here some some points to Canada if he can move the jack a little that red ball there can receive the point but he missed this ball completely it seems that was the intention yeah you now even if you look to Canada they are relaxed Nothing that they can do at this moment. Just to reduce the the gap, uh, of points between them. And that fourth end. Yes. With six Very zero. good. Last ball. It was good. They must be scoring now more than one point, or maybe not. Maybe only one, one or two. Uh, anyway, uh, Argentina still has. Three balls to play. They have a, a, an open area in between the blue and the red to aim the jack. And if they are going to play, they will they will try to score. Playing the, for that area or pushing the blue to the jack. Or taking out that red one that is uh, on the left side. Uh, that those options depend uh, not only on the characteristics of the player, but uh, he pushed uh, he pushed the loop, yeah. but also the angle that. Many times we as commentators, we are not in the best position to see the, the right uh, lines of throw and uh, our comments can be, can be not very uh, precise. Anyway. Uh, one point to Argentina. One and point and they uh, finished. Yes, 13-1. Great result here for Argentina, and now they know that we will stand in the first place of the group. They will play this afternoon against China and the other group. I don't know if, ah, but we, we have to wait a little because the penalty, Canada have the chance yeah. to score one point. Yeah. So. When the, when Eileen plays the ball, touching the line was the penalty ball, and now Canada have the chance to, with Danny Callard choosing one ball, but trying to place the ball in the square, trying to score here one point. He has one minute to do that after the referees ask to do that. As you can see, Sarah will make the call for one minute. No, it was too short. Yeah, was too short and now the final result 13-1 so this game the story of this game was uh, uh, the dominance of Argentina during uh, all uh, almost 
all ends, taking uh, the lead with uh, three points in the first end and then the fourth end with six points, making a, a, point, a final point in that. Uh, I will ask here for the production, if possible, to watch the game in court number two because uh, Malaysia plays all balls and uh, Slovakia with a chance to to score to score and if they do that they will pass through the semi-finals uh, well that will be great achievement to Slovakia if they can do that I don't know if we have the chance to They are saying that uh, it's difficult, so it, for now it's everything. We come uh, about uh, 30 minutes uh, for the game of round 5 BC4 pairs. Spain against Mexico. Thanks to you to be here with us. See you.